NASA never announced this no press release was issued, but this single image forced scientists to stop the rover immediately. If you missed this moment, you missed the reason the entire mission changed direction. In this episode, Ingenuity narrowly survives what was supposed to be a routine flight, detects a hidden danger ahead, and ends up breaking its own records. At the same time, Perseverance travels toward a region that could contain clues about ancient life, captures a massive dust storm, and suffers a mishap serious enough to threaten the mission's primary goal. This video is part of a new series where we follow the Perseverance rover step by step. If you haven't seen the first episode, Three Months on Mars, be sure to watch that first. And don't forget to subscribe so you can continue following the rover's journey in future episodes. As Perseverance prepares for its main objective, collecting samples to eventually return to Earth, it practices precise coordination. This series of images shows the very first time the robotic arm was docked with the rover's internal sampling system. With Perseverance now heavily focused on mission objectives, it no longer has time to record Ingenuity's flights. Unfortunately, missing the recording of Ingenuity's sixth flight would turn out to be a lost opportunity to closely observe how the helicopter's safety systems respond under stress. Footage captured by Ingenuity itself during that sixth flight reveals the helicopter violently tilting back and forth. After careful investigation, the flight team determines the instability was caused by a camera-related issue. Ingenuity relies on two main inputs for autonomous flight, a motion sensor and an image-based navigation algorithm. Every second, 500 images, each with a timestamp, are fed into that algorithm. Each with a timestamp are fed into that algorithm. Each with a timestamp are fed into that algorithm. The problem occurred when the camera failed to capture a single image. As a result, all subsequent images contained incorrect timestamps. Fortunately, Ingenuity's stability system includes a built-in safety margin, allowing it to remain airborne and complete a soft landing despite the malfunction. Even with the issue, Ingenuity managed to capture a striking 13-megapixel color image looking toward a site of interest named Sida, a Navajo word meaning among the sand. The team believes that capturing this high-resolution color image may have contributed to the problem, so no further color images will be taken until the issue is fully resolved. Meanwhile, Perseverance examines a rock that has earned an unfortunate nickname, one we won't repeat, but it involves a long-running joke related to the planet Uranus. On June 1st, Perseverance and Ingenuity celebrate 100 souls on Mars. Images from the day include a view of the Martian Midday Sunday. The rover team then plans a detailed route, sending Perseverance south towards Sida before looping back north, skirting the edges of two craters, and eventually heading to the most intriguing destination yet, Three Forks, a location where an ancient river once flowed into a long-gone lake. With such a long drive ahead, NASA releases new details about how Perseverance navigates autonomously. In this footage, we see what the rover sees as small sections of terrain gradually come into view. On June 8th, Ingenuity prepares for its seventh flight. With the previous camera issue still fresh in everyone's mind, it's a tense moment. But this time, the helicopter flies flawlessly. Perseverance pauses to examine another rock that some scientists believe resembles volcanic rock found on Earth. However, volcanic rocks aren't the rover's main target, so it carefully moves on in search of sedimentary formations. Another Sol 5129 on Mars brings another dust plume, but what Perseverance captures next is truly remarkable. A massive dust cloud sweeps across the landscape. This animation is created from just three images taken over 29 seconds. In reality, the dust moves much slower. The animation is sped up about 19 times. A smoother version at five times real speed shows the phenomenon more clearly. On Sol 120, Ingenuity takes flight once again to keep pace with the rover. To cover more ground, Perseverance switches to auto-nav mode. The team tests updated autonomous navigation software by sending the rover toward a known obstacle. These images show Perseverance successfully navigating through the hazards on its own. The rover arrives at Sida and turns its camera back to reveal the long tracks it has left behind. On Sol 133, Ingenuity prepares for its ninth flight. Updated autonomous flight software resolves the issues seen during Flight 6, allowing the helicopter to safely capture color images again. 
Ingenuity flies for 2 minutes and 26 seconds, the longest flight so far, crossing the entire CIDA region and collecting numerous color images. Features visible in these images have been named raised ridges, and scientists are eager to explore them. These ridges are part of a fracture system that often acts as pathways for underground fluid flow. In another image, rover drivers notice something alarming, sand dunes. Driving into them could trap the rover permanently. Slightly exposed bedrock can be seen near the base of the dunes, but the area is still too dangerous for Perseverance to enter. Thanks to ingenuity, however, the team can study it in detail from above. After more driving, Perseverance looks toward a site with its most fitting nickname yet, Cratered Floor, Fractured Rough. This is where the rover will attempt its first sample collection. The rover reaches out to inspect nearby rocks, the same type it plans to sample. Meanwhile, Ingenuity completes its 10th flight, capturing another view of the raised ridges. Perseverance arrives at its sampling target, setting up what will become its workspace on Mars for several weeks. Before sampling begins, the caching system undergoes extensive testing. Ingenuity flies again, this time capturing Perseverance from 39 feet in the air. Can you spot it? The rover is busy preparing for its first sampling attempt. Its robotic arm grinds into the rock surface to examine what lies beneath, ensuring the drill won't be damaged. On August 6, 2025, Perseverance successfully drills into the rock. The sample is transferred to the internal unit for inspection, but surprisingly, the tube appears empty. The team investigates further, and on August 11th, NASA confirms the rock was too fragile, crumbling into fine dust instead of forming a solid core. Before anyone on Earth realized what was happening, Perseverance had already rolled past something it was never specifically sent to find. At first glance, it looked ordinary, just another patch of fractured ground on the Martian surface. But the rover didn't slow down by accident. Hidden inside this terrain was a pattern one that doesn't form easily, and definitely doesn't form quickly. As Perseverance adjusted its position, Ingenuity was already in the air, quietly scanning ahead. From above, the helicopter spotted something the rover couldn't see from the ground, subtle ridges aligned in a way that suggested movement. Ancient movement. Not wind. Not impact. But flow. This wasn't a single crack or a random fracture. It was a network. When Perseverance turned its cameras back toward the site, the scale became clear. These formations cut through the bedrock and disappeared beneath layers of sand, exactly the kind of structure scientists associate with underground fluid pathways. And that's when the mission shifted. Because fluids don't just move through rock without a reason. On Earth, these same formations often form where water once carried heat, minerals, and sometimes, the ingredients for life. The rover moved closer, carefully avoiding the surrounding dunes. One wrong turn could end the mission permanently. From orbit, everything looked flat, but on the ground, Mars was full of traps. Perseverance extended its robotic arm and began a close inspection. The textures were wrong for volcanic rock. Too layered. Too delicate. Too intentional. Then came the moment no one expected. As the rover's instruments analyzed the surface, the data showed chemical signatures that didn't match the surrounding terrain. This rock didn't belong here, or at least, it didn't form under the same conditions. Somewhere in Mars' distant past, this place had changed. Above it all, ingenuity circled once more, capturing high-resolution color images that stitched the entire region together. For the first time, scientists could see how these structures connected, how one fracture led to another, forming a story written in stone. This wasn't proof of life, but it was evidence of an environment where life could have existed and survived. Perseverance marked the location, not for immediate sampling, but for something much more important. Because if Mars ever had a habitable past, this is exactly where the answers would hide. And this discovery? It wasn't announced in headlines. It wasn't teased in press releases. It was found quietly, one frame, one scan, one careful move at a time. And the rover isn't done yet. Fortunately, Perseverance still has over 40 sampling attempts remaining. We can't wait to see what the rover discovers over the next three months. And if you happen to be watching from the future, you might not have to wait at all. Click here to see the next episode. Thanks for watching All About Mars Surface.
Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the latest discoveries from Mars.